to start him off, do a little bit of groundwork with him. One little forward motion while he's swinging his hip like so. Change direction, work on his coordination here a little bit. Swing his shoulders around a little. He can flex his head on a soft rein here. Good boy. Good. Ask for any softer than that. So here today he's moving pretty perky. We kind of thought about maybe binding up a little. And when that head comes up, I'm just going to, there. There, those feet are moving very, very thinly. His face was up in my hand. Go ahead and drive his hip around a little. Maybe sweep those shoulders. He has to do everything with the sat lawn that he does without the sat lawn. Standing forward here quietly. Extend his hip. Keep those shoulders. Good boy. And your hips. Sweep the shoulders. Okay. Off my right hand. Part of that is a coordination kind of an issue where the feet sweep those shoulders. Get those feet connected to that mind. See? So he kind of stumbles on himself. It's a coordination kind of change direction. See? He can't push himself in direction. Change direction. There. Much better. Change direction. Can you grab that baby? We're going to teach old Trigger how to take a bridle today. He's never had a bit in his mouth. So the first thing I like to do is kind of get their face all kind of settled down here. And I'll just start to kind of slip a finger in here. And I'll always keep your face turned away here. And just, just try to encourage this horse. Just keep your face turned. When his head starts coming left here a little bit, I'll put, whoops, and I'll put just a little bit of downward pressure on him here. And there. When he just started to lower his head, I just kind of quit there. I'll just tell him how smart he is. I'll just kind of go for his mouth. Just turn your face away in case he thrashes his head. I'll just kind of keep him out at arm's length. He's coming left all on his own. And I'll just kind of encourage him to kind of lower his head a little bit right there. Good. Just protect your face. Right there. He did that all by himself. I didn't guide him over here at all. Kind of rub his face with it a little bit and straddle his face, go up under his chin. And then encourage him to take the bit, reach in from the other side. Don't worry about his head going up. There. And just encourage him to come to the left. And then encourage him to lower that head just a little bit. There. Straddle his face, go up under his chin. Come up and encourage him to slip this into his mouth. It was very quiet that time. He's coming left on his own. He spit that out. All. What I'd like for this to be is a very rewarding experience for him. And let him find that on his own. There. And that's kind of where I'm going to quit on that today. And tomorrow, he'll just take that bit and I'll let him pack it around tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Daddy, act like he's just lazy. Look at that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just about lay down right there, didn't it? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this.
Can we get this to happen? Try not to walk around the head. That will spook them to jump up. I want you to know, I put very little restraint on that horse. He just has a hard time wrapping his mind around what his feet are supposed to do. I just held him steady. He just kind of kept steady pressure and he made the choice just to throw himself on the ground. This is something to really think about. Make sure you really test your horse out on all these kinds of things. Can you imagine just getting on and that horse feeling you pulling on him a little bit and packing your weight and this was the decision he made to do while you were riding him. Or the big rear out or something. That's why we do all these little test things here. See if the horse can handle pressure. Solve his own anxiety. I wish that stirrup had been tied up. I probably should have done it. I'm just going to leave him here for quite a long time. Boy. If he tries to get up without me telling him to, I'm just going to kind of bend his head and encourage him to lay back down. But a horse like this, you see, he may do something like this to you when you're trying to ride him and his, his feet don't coordinate well. And he may just throw himself down or flip himself over or fall over backwards. Here for being still. <clears throat> Boy. Okay, huh? I've been catching in time.